Welcome to a short video on my home automation channel and I want to go back to one of my earlier projects which you can see in the left here. So this is my um, new file browser project on uh, Dashboard 2.0. So I think actually that was probably the last one that I did about uh, Dashboard 2.0. Probably I should go back to Dashboard 2.0 but some other things came up so I put this on the back burner. And uh, by the way if you have some interesting ideas what uh, we should do in Dashboard 2.0 just let me know. I have a new idea. I want to implement my automation um, uh, automation computer, the uh, the admin thing that I started to build in UI Builder. I think I'm going to eventually migrate that to Dashboard 2.0. So probably that's going to be the new video. But anyway, let's go back to you know what I'm going to talk about now. So this had an upload functionality, and if you remember, I said that. For some reason, the upload only worked up to about a one megabyte file size. It's, it's, it's probably even less, but uh, you know, anything uh, sort of like a few hundred K and less was, was fine. But if I try to upload anything bigger, then it would just fail. And actually, thanks to, I forget the name, <laughs> Douchebag Raccoon, um, he asked this question again. I asked the same question um, in originally in the forum, but I think probably it was uh, sort of like in the in the discussion somewhere further uh, further down in some other questions. So nobody paid attention to that. But then he just asked if uh, this file issue can be solved, and actually there is, of course, there is a setting for that for the settings.js. So we have a comment here which says that there is a. a API max length in the settings.js that is by default is five megabytes. So you can set that to a higher value. So um, I don't think that is causing the issue in my case because uh, while well, it was failing before five megabytes and I don't think that the HTTP header would be, you know, so big that, you know, it would add another four megabytes to one megabyte. But then later in this post, there is another comment saying that uh, there is another setting specifically for dashboard 2.0 and that also goes to the settings.js so you do dashboard and then it has a max http buffer size so if you set it to 1e8 so that would be like 100 megabytes and that also goes to the settings.js so you can see that here and also there is another comment here that if you happen to ha use a reverse proxy then you also have to set the max body size here which i don't use so i don't think i would need to do that up until now i wasn't really bothered because uh, mostly i was just uploading you know small files like you know settings and that sort of stuff and especially after i did the editing feature so what i want to say with that is that i haven't actually made these changes i haven't tested them but it's it looks straightforward enough so you know maybe you can just uh, enable this max api length and then set it to five megabytes oh sorry i just realized that it is uh, um, uncommented by default so i don't know what the default i mean the sort of the the default size it when it's not specified so you can add this and you can add also this dashboard specific one to the settings such as and that would solve the upload limit so it looks fairly simple, fairly easy. So at least that should get you, you know, um, <clears throat> enabled to upload bigger files to your Node.js server using this, uh, well, in, in my file browser extension, but also if you have some very custom stuff, uh, which using the same up file upload um, card in Dashboard 2.0 or Viewtify, then you should be able to use that as well. Okay, I think that was all for today. If you are interested in any of the things that I mentioned here, I'm going to leave links to the video description and also probably cards to the previous videos. But that's all for today. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you in the next video.